Hi, it's Laura from Following the Paper Trail, and I have just returned from CHA. I hand carried my samples back with me that I did for Tim Holt's um, ideology booth, so I wanted to have a chance to share them with you. You may have seen them in the quick video that I did during um, actual CHA. I hadn't had a chance to videotape them from, from before, so I wanted to show them to you right now. This one is a field camera. And the wind is blowing, and that's my window outside blowing. Um, anyway, this is a field camera, which is a box kind of camera that was popular in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And this is made entirely from configuration boxes and some of the older and new um, ideology project products. Um, here's one of the the new... Oh, what did he call those things? The knobs, the spigot knobs, I think there are. So that's one of those with some sprocket gears on top. Here's some of the older sprocket gears and the little tiny sprocket gears. This is actually the canister that the film strip ribbon comes in. Then here's one of the 5x5 five five boxes. This is easiest to do handheld. And the lid of one of the larger boxes. These are the new pulley wheels. They are so, so cute with some chain. Just to give the effect that normally in a real camera these these pieces would come together and close. I couldn't quite engineer it to get it to do that. Um, it's got some coordinations distress paper that I use to create the bellows. And then in amongst the bellows there's little pockets for photos. This looks like I caught on the chain. That you can put some heritage photos. These are actually from one of his paper stashes. So the photos fit inside the bellows. Then as we come around here in the back, I tried to make this look like old glass on the back, but this opens up. This is hard to do one-handed. Inside here, there is a box that has photographs. Those of you who are at CHA may not have seen this part. They had it kind of oriented in the booth so that people didn't necessarily know this opened. The, the samples in his booth took a real beating this year. I had to go back and repair the other one I'm going to show you here um, twice during the course of the the sh this show. So anyway, it's got some little files with some of the new little metal tabs on them that fit inside this box that fits back in the back of the camera. It'd be great for vintage photos. And then these, whoops, I'm just going to leave that open for right now. Then on this side, again, the photos fit into the bellows. Same sort of thing here. I've used one of the, um, metal frames from Ranger to make kind of a viewfinder there on the top. Some of the clock keys with the ball chain hooking on to um, just add some parts to make it look more like a real camera. This is a project that I will be doing a tutorial for and there will be um, instructions. I'm probably going to have the instructions in both video form and written form. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this one on Ustream or just having the video tutorial instead. Um, so keep an eye on my blog and that kind of thing to get that information. So let me pull in the other project that I did for Tim. Do this by hand holding the camera. Sorry. So this one is, let me go back a little bit. This one is a wardrobe trunk. This is made from two of the six and three quarter by eight and three quarter configuration boxes, not from one of the trinket boxes like Scott from Blue Moon <laughs> thought it was when he did a video in Tim's booth. This wasn't a trinket box, Scott. <laughs> this is entirely made from those two, from two of the, um, the boxes. So this one opens up and on one side it is a perpetual calendar where the monthly tags hang off of a hitch post and have some other goodies. Here's one of the the bird cages in here with the bird in it. The pocket watch and then these game pieces are put, put in via magnet so that you can change those out each day. Hard to do one-handed, so we'll put that back in. 
couple of the other different goodies down inside here. Some of the glass vials, one of the creepy dolls as I call them, <laughs> another one of the keys. And then over on this side, we have the, the tags, one for each month, that kind of hang like dresses in here. So obviously there's February. This is January. And they just, there's a rod up inside. And they hang using the little hanger clips. Here's March. I'm going to switch hands. This is too hard to do with this hand. Here's March. And then next we have April with the Umbrella Man. And then we have May with the metal. It's got some beauty on top of it to give it a real enamelized look. We have June with the three mint. Oops, looks like we lost an E. As I said, these things took a major beating. I had to keep going back and repairing this one. Okay, then we have July with the old jalopy. July, and then we have August. And these are all done with stamps from Stampers Anonymous. And then we have September and October, November with the um, rosette die used there, and then we have December. So I used the manila, the craft, and the black tags. Then down here in the bottom are little drawers. Let's see if I spread these out so it has the little game pieces down in there so you can change your clock. I've been dying for some handles like these. I was ready to figure out how to get them off of one of the printer trays, but he came out with them. So yahoo, I don't have to take a power to pr tr printer tray. So anyway, that is the wardrobe side of the trunk. And then over here on this side, there is a mini album that's got a the elastic lace holding it in and it pops out back the trunk up sorry this is handheld it's got an elastic band okay switch hands back elastic band this this is some of the new paper it's got all these different kinds of leather looks in it it's just totally totally cool here's what I did on the back with some grunge paper this is some canvas that I used on the spine. It is then bound with one of his large rings. Small rings are no more. Um, and then this, the paper stash destinations has all sorts of different travel themes, whether you're traveling by car or train or airplane or um, pretty much any uh, mode of transportation. Um, there's imager, images included in that. And these are tags that pull out. I didn't get photographs put in them. I'm not terribly comfortable putting my own personal photographs in things that I do for a big show like CHA. And each one of these has a smaller tag, again, with stamps from Stampers Anonymous. These are the, this is the glassine envelopes here with the paper attached over the top. And then it just is is goes through the same way I did my my um, somewhat common to me now my paper clip and brad um, system for uh, binding the album looks like we had one come apart here as I said these took a major beating there are some of the stickers of the new stickers that are off of all different hotels these are the cool new pins wire pins that he has Not too close sorry um, that I'm just totally in love with. He also has the crinkle ribbon that comes in, I think it's 10 yard pieces now, rather than just the one yard piece that is in the, um, the laces and embellishment pack that he has. Again, very simple. You don't have to get super complicated with the minis all the time. Another tag in there. Um, Tried to keep it real simple. These are also new to him. He's had the alphabet charms, and these are cash register charms. They're a little bit older. Uh, older. They're a little bit larger, 
and um, oval shaped. So here's on this side. So this is the mini album. And then at the end it says enjoy the journey. So um, then this all closes back up and fits back inside the trunk. Easy as pie. I'm not going to close the elastic because I can just close the trunk. And that's how it closes. Uses one of the chain things to close it. This one has 176 brads in it. This is some of the new paper in the destination with the stripes on it. My hinge system in the back. <laughs> All out of grunge paper here so that you can open it. But anyway, the wardrobe trunk and the field camera. I was very, very excited to be d doing some projects for his booth again this year. There were some absolutely amazing projects in the booth. Hopefully you saw a few of them um, on the video that I did, that I made actually at the show. So anyway, that's what I did for um, Tim Holt's ideology booth. I also have some projects that I did for Graphic 45, and I'll do a separate video on those. So, um... I'm also going to be doing a Ustream tonight, kind of doing a CHA in review. It's February 3rd, 2012. Can you believe it? Anyway, I'll be showing some of the things that, and talking about some of the things that we saw at CHA, and hope you can join us then. Thanks so much.